Hey, what's up, Brett, man? Uh, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Uh, what I usually do, I usually have, uh, I'll shoot like uh, several scenes or whatever, you know, it's not just one continuous shoot when I'm making a video. I might shoot something for like two minutes, like say we were testing that pressure switch, and then I'll cut it, and then let's say we went, moved on to uh, testing the igniter or, or whatnot. You know, I, I make several small scenes, and then I combine them all with that movie maker. But once I have all my scenes on there, I take my, my USB port, and I plug it to my computer there, and then I turn my camera off and I plug it into the side of my camera here and uh, while it's in the off position we uh, well let me let me get this onto <laughs> onto the computer and then we'll start from there okay buddy okay Brad I've got the uh, the uh, uh, USB port disconnected from my camera I wish I had two and I could really show you you know how it goes but uh, I hope this helps some but what you'll do then is then you'll come in here when your camera was still attached it would say uh, like right where it says removable disc one it'll actually underneath that with your camera attached it'll say something like removable disc K and then you'll pop on pop on that removable disc K and then it'll give you another screen it'll say something like whatever your camera is and then you'll hit that once you hit that you open this up where you got your videos your music your uh, pictures and whatnot, your documents and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'll uh, click on my uh, videos and there they are. And then I'll come over here and we'll say we've got that video. You just uh, left click it and drag it up over here. And that's that video we just shot just a second ago. Okay. Now once that's on there, you can uh, close this down. And then you can actually go in here and delete, you know, what was on your camera. That way, you know, you, you save more room for your uh, your little disc thing or whatever it is in there. All right, so we'll shut this down, okay? Now, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to come right over here to uh, that icon down there. Dude, I'm not that great with the terminology here, but uh, I think you know what I'm getting at. This little icon down here at the bottom. Okay, you'll click on that. And then I have this, it's called Windows Movie Maker. And I guess it was just built right into my computer. Dude, I, to be quite honest with you, it was a fluke that I figured out how to do this. So just bear with me. So what I do is I'll click on this Windows Movie Maker, right? And then bam, she pops up. And of course, that last video I shot still in there. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and remove this stuff. Get it off here. Bear with me, man. I didn't know I had this stuff still on here. Okay, so now what you want to do is you go up here to import media. Okay? And this is how simple this is, man. You'll uh, take that, highlight it, and just hit import. And there it is. She's on there. See? And we can actually play it. Hey, what's up, Brett, man? Uh, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Uh, what I usually do, I usually have, uh, I'll shoot like uh, several scenes. or. Okay, so what I do now is I'll grab hold of that movie that we got highlighted right here. And there she is over here. You get on this left-hand side of it. And I drag it down to this where it says drag media right there. You see that? You probably can't, but don't, trust me, that's what it says. Now, let's say, for instance, here, let me, let me import some more media. Um... And just to show you real quick. Let me set this down. And I'll show you. Okay, Brett, we're, we're back at it again. All right, so what you want to do is go back up here to import media. I had to open up some more videos on that uh, on that video page I had. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll find the particular movie that uh, our clip or whatever you want to call it that you want to import over here. And I suggest naming them because uh, the CH13, all that, you're going to get lost. So what I do is normally I name them, you know, as you can tell, I'm most of them I do, you know, there's quite a few of them that I haven't. But anyway, make a long story short, just come in here and okay, let's say, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, we like Mike and Brenda's job. Okay, so we're going to come over to Mike and Brenda's job. We're going to highlight it. Then we're going to import it. Okay, hit import. Bam, we're back over here to the, uh, uh, to the uh, movie maker. So we're going to go back in. We're going to grab us another one. Uh, let's say we like uh, Charlie's job so we're gonna sit there we're gonna highlight Charlie's job import media okay and there they are right there 
So what we're going to do is we didn't like the way this one was set up. We don't want that one first. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll say remove it. It still stays up here. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take, uh, uh, you know, just like we had it down there. We're going to take that first one here and we're going to drag it down here. Okay. We're going to drag it down here where it says drag media. Okay. All right. So now we want Charlie's job to be next. What I do is I like to just get over here and scroll it over because we're going to have to be right on this. You need to be, get right there on it, okay? So what I do is I'll come up here. I grab like Charlie's video here and I'll bring it down and I'll park it right beside it and it kind of blends into it. Bam, there we go, okay? So now what we want to do is uh, we, we like Mike and Brenda's job here. So we're going to go up there and grab Mike and Brenda's and we're going to bring it right down beside it, get it close. Pow, she's in there. Okay. So what I do is I'll, uh, generally before I even do my titles, I want to see how it works. So what I'll do is I'll click on this first, we, we scrolled back. We're going to click on this first one. Okay. And then it pops up right here. So what I'll actually do is I'll go in here and I'll, I'll, I'll watch a little hey, bit of it. what's up, Brett, we got. Man, uh, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Uh, what I usually do, I usually have, uh, I'll shoot like, uh, several And then we can fast forward it. Might be able to get it right there. Get lucky. Slap on her and, and uh, check check her uh, uh, temperatures, pressures out, and check sub cool and all that good stuff. So uh, might even do a delta T downstairs. So uh, let me get after her. Okay, so we like that. So we're gonna bring it back over here. We're gonna scroll back. You'll get the hang of this, man. It's just gonna take a minute. So what I do is I go up here to tools. Okay, see right there, tools. I hit tools. Now I come down to where it says titles and credits. And this usually takes a dang on second. <clears throat> Just bear with me, Brett. Come on. All right. Now the first thing I do is I see title at beginning right there. So I'll click on that. And I don't like that blue. So you'll see some, watch. You'll see some blue come up. I just hit a couple of letters and there it goes. I don't like that blue. So what, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change my text font and color. And you just click on that, and I like that black. You hit the black, and you hit OK. All right. Now, we can go back to Edit, Title, and Text. Okay. Uh, let's see. Helping Brett figure out. Oops. Out Windows Movie Maker. Okay, all right. Now check over here. Now that pops up right there. Okay, I didn't capitalize none of it. You can get into all that. But anyway, all you do is you come over here and you uh, hit Add Title, and bam, it adds it for you. And there she is, right down there. Okay, so now you can back it up with just highlight this dude here, and then you can hit play, helping Brett figure out Windows Movie Maker. Hey, what's up, Brett, man? Uh, I hope it's helped okay. you out a little bit. Uh, now, what you do is you go back do, into, uh, we'll have, shut it down. Uh, you go back in here to Tools, hit Titles and Credits again, and now it'll, that thing is still going to uh, stay highlighted black because it knows what to do. But you can go right down here to Credits at the end, and then, you know, like... Uh, Thank you for watching. And bam, all you do is uh, hit add title. You'll have to fool around with this bar and stuff up here, man. It's kind of a kind of a pain, but once you get the hang of it, you'll figure it out. But anyway, you just hit add title, pow, and then come over here and check. And there she is, right there. Okay, so basically. We got her done there. We'll, there. we'll click on it one more time. So I, I kind of like to watch it. And you can not actually right click it. You can, uh, you know, right click it and you can watch it in full screen here. Helping Brett figure out when it's movie maker. Hey, what's up, Brett, man? Uh, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Uh, what I usually do, I usually have, uh, I'll shoot like uh, and just several hit escape. scenes or whatever, you know. And then just, just check, the, the, you know, check your title out at the uh, end. See what, how that looks. Check sub cool and all that good stuff. So, uh, might even do a Delta T downstairs. So, uh, let me get after her. And here comes our ending. Okay. And that's it, pretty much, Brett. So, what you do now is you come over here. 
and uh, you go up here where it says publish movie okay you can hit publish movie I'll oh, heck with it I'll go ahead and publish it publish movie and then it'll, you'll have uh, uh, to this computer yes and you'll come over here and hit, and hit next and then uh, right here is where you can type in what you want the name of your movie to be or you can change it when you get it over there to YouTube and then you just hit next and then it'll say something to best quality of playback and then you hit publish okay I'm not gonna publish it but you just hit publish down there and it, it depends how long your movie is Brett uh, it could take anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes you know what I'm saying and then once it's published okay let's back up out of here okay uh, get out of here I don't want to save it no okay and then you come back here to your document thing and then once it's published, it'll actually be sitting in your videos here. You know, see, I've got all my videos stopped. My, you know, I've got so many daggone videos and like these small scenes that uh, I actually made. Uh, if you don't make folders, man, you're going <laughs> to, it'll be kind of a pain in the butt trying to get in there and like uh, on, where I showed you how you had to import stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, once you got that done, you just uh, get over here and get on your YouTube. And hit upload videos right there man and it'll pro it'll pretty much prompt you what to do okay i hope this helped you out some brother all right man take care buddy bye